Hello Collective. So today I will be demonstrating how to do, dress, cast, set intentions, however you want to place it for a reversal of spell work, evil eye, whatever someone has sent to you. And there are many ways of doing of such things, but this is the way that I do it and the way that I have learned due to experience. And I believe it to be very critical for someone to be posting or sharing their experiences or at least how to perform such craft. Okay, and welcome to Mystic Marie Tarot and Guidance. Today is about guidance, spiritual guidance that is. So you want to start with clearing your space, of course. I have just completed a reversal with all of the white smudge residual energy here. That tells me that I have had a lot of spiritual support from my ancestors, my angels, or let's just say your parade, your entourage of spiritual assistance, okay? So after clearing your space, of course you want to cleanse your utensils, cleanse your candle. It does sit in the shop or the store or wherever you may get your product from. You want to try to do your best to remove any and all other energies that may or may not be attached to it. Inside and out. Okay, and then on my previous videos about manifesting petitions and reversal petitions, there's already a video on how to do a reversal. It's the same thing if you want to go and watch that. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate here in short form because I've already explained it. But for the benefit of like a full workup on a reversal candle plus the petition that you will need to place underneath... Like so, this is my reversal that I am needing to go and burn and cast out in the universe so that the universe can receive my request in addition to my candle work. You want to cleanse the parchment paper. It is best to use brown paper. It is not bleached. It does not have the lines of the college ruled paper or the wide ruled whatever paper. It's not bleached. It's not dyed. This is the closest you will get to the universe with the paper not being enriched or dyed anyways uh so how you would do a reversal i've already cast mine i'll show you guys at the end of the video because that is very private and i know exactly who it is i know why they're doing it so i've already set my intentions it's not necessary but you can meditate over the candle or you could just Deep, deep breathe. If you're not familiar with meditation, deep breathe on why you're doing this and what your intention is and why you want it done. If you have been constantly bullied or harassed spiritually, you just sit here and say, I just want to be left alone. I just want to be free. Send this back to whoever it has come from. You can be as basic as that. And if you know who it is, their God, their angels, their ancestors, please assist me in returning to sender anything that i have been dealt cast or anything that has been thrown at me you sit there and you basically pour your heart out to the universe within or you can actually cry the intention is stronger to, depending on what you're in what your feeling is what you're dealing with and what else or whoever else is involved anyways as far as the reversal petition again there is a video you want to rip all four corners away from you and turn counterclockwise well not corners sides counterclockwise so you get back to where you started and then you will write this is an example because again i've already did mine i'm going to say i reverse all harmful energy i just learned today that it's better to say harmful rather than negative because uh negative ions could be beneficial for you and harmful could definitely be more i guess detailed in, in regards to malicious or distractions or delays or someone who's intentionally trying to hurt you it could be physical as well when you're trying to when someone's trying to set you up you'll be evading 
thanks to your intuition being more powerful being put in the wrong place at the wrong time uh just by setting your intentions to be uh away from all harmful energies reverse that intention or those spells back to whoever it has come from i reverse all harmful energy uh curses hexes however you want to place it jinxes spells this is just an example black magic Back to Jane Doe or back to Cinder or back to whoever has cast it. You you put your intention. I'm going to say I reverse all harmful energy, hexes, curses, jinxes, spells, and black magic back to source of Cinder. Back to source or Cinder. How about that? I know exactly who I sent my shit back to i put their first and last name you could do that as well and then so after you do that you counterclockwise to the left sign your name jane doe april fools 1991 jane doe april fools 1991 jane doe april fools 1991 three times reverse it all the way back around full circle read it out loud lately i've been reading it three times to you know, amplify the intention. I reverse all harmful energy, curses, hexes, jinxes, spells, and black magic back to sender. Two more times. You fold it up away from you because you're sending it away. And counterclockwise because you're turning back, oops, turning back things into which it came. I need this today. Like I said, I just finished one and here I am, got a lot another one. It won't stop. Okay, so after you do that, you flip away again you turn and then i have my casting circle to protect my spell work i'll show you guys at the end of the video and then you'll place it on top and now it's time to dress we've already saged it and cleansed it so i have tons of herbs and i am starting an inventory of things that i have uh, Angelica root is a good herb for protection, but I'm not going to use that today. And then we have the devil shoestring, which is tripping up enemies, breaking hexes, good luck, gaining, keeping a job, protection amulets, protection against harmful magic, yada, yada, yada. And then again, I'm serious about this because this is my life. And then you got dragon's blood for protection and, ban and banishing. You got green sage for purification and healing. Hyssop for protection and purification. But let's just get to the ones that we're using today. Let's start with... What did I do? Take this? What's wrong with me? I take it. Let's start with hyssop. Hyssop is for protection and purification. The way I have been doing it lately, again, do your research, learn your cultural background because... Some people may be Haitian, which is voodoo. Some people may be Egyptian, which is having, which has a different practice. And you got a Creole. You got so many types of backgrounds. But I feel like this is more like of a common one remote fits all TV. But we'll we'll get into all of that as I pursue to further post things on my channel. So I'm going to put this in a counterclockwise position you don't want to put too much because if you can see at the bottom of this candle there's always going to be some things left over and uh, you want to avoid letting it burn more than it needs to because the glass may crack so i'm going to put this in in a counter counterclockwise position that is hyssop for protection and purification now i'm going to put wormwood it is for i usually use it for uncrossing but i have listed here Healing, uncrossing, and psychic powers. It is also for protection as well, counterclockwise, because I am returning. I am not trying to manifest, I'm returning. Basil is for protection as well. You can find, I'm going to show you guys a lot of these things in the grocery store. Basil is good for luck, success, money, peace, purification, protection, uncrossing, and love. Okay, that is all I want to use today. But let me show you guys. I don't know if you guys have heard of this grocery store. So for the sake of being, I guess, flag, I'm going to hide the grocery store. 
but you can find a lot of these herbs in the grocery store these are real herbs that you can cook with chili powder rosemary anise seed marijuana parsley sea salt for bathing protection then you got your cinnamon sticks for prosperity protection then you got your chili peppers for banishing and cleansing okay get real around her yeah dig okay so after all that said and done i did my intention i am going to now try to remove what i can away from the the wick against the rim so that it does not catch fire or ignite with it and i am doing it in a reversing motion setting my intention turning back the hands of time <laughs> return to sender you sent it you get it boomerang bitch anyways and this is a real candle i'm getting ready to light this so i'm so serious today y'all like i said i just finished one um i'll teach about black smudge this has no black smudge which means there was no interference there were no blockages or obstacles black smudge usually someone would confuse it with oh it was burning too too long no because i have several candles and i have several different appearances based on what it is i do not cast anything dark i do i am not a dark witch i do not do any hexes or curses i am practicing defensive psychic protection you get what you give with me and i may manifest new opportunities that i actually have to work hard for just i don't want any i don't, I don't want any blockages or roadblocks in my way just let me live my life stop interfering with my path stop sending hate stop hating on me let me do me while i while you do you when well, people are too busy trying to do you in messing with your path delaying you and blocking you so yeah this is this is what it is so manifestation and defensive magic is what i do unfortunately i have to. i wish i could just work the six days a week that i do anyways reverse it and um after you do this i guess i'm gonna have to take this uh tripod off so i can show you guys the way that it's actually gonna go here is the casting circle i've already done my petition this is to protect any type of interferences via astro travel evil eye or whatever this is a love blockage candle that i have done for reversal someone keeps trying to block my love life there is also no interference here as well no black smudge but you would just place it as such i turn it three times counterclockwise because i'm turning it back and then i'll ignite it and that'll be that so i'm gonna also get some advice here for you guys because i am also a tarot reader and that is part of my path i'm not going to say the main part but it is part of my path and who i destined to become so i'm going to clean up and i have to post <laughs> i have to post air signs and water signs tonight so I'll definitely be cleaning up spirit guides, angels, ancestors. For those that are going to stick around for the advice card, thank you for watching. For those that are not, I hope that this helps someone. Please hit me up if you have any questions in my email. I'm more than willing to chat with you. Spirit guides, what messages do you have for those in regards to spell work that they have been facing? What advice do you have for the collective at this time in regards to spell work? Advice for the collective spirit. Bottom of the day, clear, clear, cancel, and delete. So that is cutting ties, cutting cords, pulling back your energy from anyone that you did not authorize it to. Cutting people off. Spirit, what is the advice in regards to the spell work that the collective made? have been receiving what is their advice at this time we got guardian angel wow if that ain't on point honesty and communication so of course there's guardian angels around you helping you to deflect and counter some of the spell work that you have been receiving honesty and communication is there as well let's read 
a bit of guardian angel for those that are sticking around these messages may be definitely very important for you everyone has a guardian angel who has been with them since their soul's creation now your guardian angel is drawing closer to you than ever this angel god lets you know loves you and accepts you completely before your incarnation on earth you danced across the stars together if you're feeling overwhelmed or alone at this time know that your angel god is with you to share their love and make you feel safe you never walk this path alone. Angels are always there to light the way. This card is a huge reminder that you always have their help, support, and companionship available to you. So let us call on your angels for assistance. In order to support you, they must be invited to do so. A quick prayer to your guardian angel can take some pressure away. Your angel guide was made for you and is dedicated to you. Take time today and, e and easy and informal conversation have an easy informal conversation with them speak openly in the heartfelt way about your life any challenges you are facing anything you need help with through that conversation their help will find its way to you when you draw this card they want you to know that they are with you okay and we also have manifestation and divine time i'm going to read a, a sentence or two from this card then we're going to close this video honesty and communication you are being given op an opportunity to speak your truth you have reached a point of your journey where you must be honest with yourself and those around you then i'm going to skip when you share your feelings and speak truthfully you draw the support and light of the universe into your heart i'm going to skip they want you to know that when you speak with honesty you attract experiences that lovingly reflect who you really are so that is speak highly of yourself and no negative thinking and definitely call on help be truthful okay so you are being guided to begin by lovingly connecting with your own heart to home in your own honor what you want for yourself in your life that is manifestation skipping it may be that you are fighting against the flow and not wanting to admit to yourself that something is holding you back or dampening your spirit but angels love you and want you to know that honesty is the best policy for you now so let us be honest with yourself with that counsel clear delete uh card release card that i saw that is telling me you may be involved with someone who's also harming you in some way so let's be honest with yourself go within and also speak truthfully about things that you experience i'm getting someone could also be in an abusive relationship and that's not sharing that so if that is you you also need to speak up about about that for those that are sticking in something because they feel that it is comfortable or it has some type of stability attached to it it is harming you in some type of way and it could be spell work that you may not be aware of because this is about reversing negative energy i ask for advice in regards to spell work sometimes being in a negative uh emotionally abusive relationship is a sense of spell work because it's weighing down on your spirit your soul and your energy is causing you some type of harm so i am going to post more videos Sorry for the noise in regards to helping others get through their obstacles and uh, pursue their truest purpose in their past and um, definitely wanting to be an outlet for those that are in need. Thanks for watching. Peace and love. Until next time. Bye.